If students learn cannot work in America, is it in Nigeria it will work? As the President Utunibu, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Professor Emmanuel Osodeke, President of Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has reacted to one of the campaign, campaign promises of the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tunibu. Bola Tunibu, in his campaign promises to Nigerians, said if he is elected president, there will be student loans. If a kind of financial yourself will give you a loan, you will complete the education. When you start working with the capacity to pay, then you start to pay. However, while reacting to Bola Tenembo's promise, Prof. Imal Asadeke said the student loan scheme is not viable in Nigeria, and even a rich country like the United States of America is finding it difficult to maintain the student loan scheme. At about 4.55 minutes into a video shared by Rice Television, Prof. Asadeke said the student loan in Nigeria is really not viable, it is not implementable, and it feels like putting the children in bondage. A country like America introduced the student loan and somewhere along the line because the students are suffering in payment. The present president, who is a Democrat, decided to write off most of these loans and he is still doing that because it is having an adverse effect on the citizens. So if in a country like America where you could get a job when you were through or if you do not have a job, the country assists you, the loan did not work. Is it in Nigeria where you have 133 million people on the poverty line that people would take the loan and pay? Where unemployment is as high as 30 to 40 percent, is that where they will pay? I was exactly as I was reading, I was like, ah. <laughs> you never even solve the issue of unemployment before you start even coming out to even dream about this one. Say, bah, bah. You have to have you have to have solved the issue of unemployment first of all. Insecurity will be scraped out, there will be nothing like insecurity, then the economy will get better. Then unemployment, you know, and the educational system, there'll be no strike. Five years becomes five years. Four years become four years. Two years becomes two years. Do you understand? A lot of things to put in place before you now start talking about it. And of course, just like the prof said, it never even work for people where we say introduce her. We want copy her from. Now here. <laughs> now play you deal. They play. Nigerians are aware that the student loan promised by Siwa Yusei Charit. Nigerians are wise now. He made that promise in 2015 until today. The All Progressive Congress never brought the matter up. <laughs> he shocked you. That is why I say it is not about writing uh, what's it called manifesto, coming out here to sing us rhyme. Do you understand? It is not about that. Come outside and tell us what exactly you're going to do. Okay, to date, APC have never brought up the matter. He has come again with the promise they think Nigerians are stupid. Okay, since he was the president since 2015, indeed, uh, he was not a president, but he was a, what's it called? He was one that fronted the person and marketed the person. Just like a guarantor. The guarantor comes and tells you, no, I know this person. This person will not do this. And what the person jack Now nah, you then go come for now, right? Okay. You are being realistic. Let the police only call those fake, frames and fake promises and tell us what is viable. And I tell you, see, if, I said it before, if our governments, eh, they have this kind of healthy competition of, I want to do better. Hmm? And I've even said, I want to do better. Maybe a particular, go uh, what's it called? A governor, senator, house of reps member, president, local government chairman, counselor, comes out and say, okay, it is only three sectors I want to focus. And that three sectors to get better. Eh? I'm telling you. And the person comes, the person coming behind him also picks maybe four sectors or five sectors. And make the sectors better. As in, 100% or 98%. Okay. Very, very okay. What are you not seeing? In the next four, five, ten years, that is in the next, um, what's it called? In the next, um, 32, 32, 40 years, I'm telling you, Nigeria will not get better. In fact, we don't even need to reach. Because by the time, you know, this one do, this one do, this one do. Nigeria would have been a better country. Things will get better. Imagine make each, make each president talk to what I'll do in, uh, what's it called, predecessor, eh? and comes in and make Nigeria that kind of a country. And everybody is committed to that. What are you not saying? What is Dubai? Eh? We are going to be better. Even the primary school free feeding is a fraudulent scheme. Who is defeating, deceiving? Help me and ask them all. What sort of lecturer are you? Student load is working well in America and UK. 
always try and listen to the news. Always try and read before coming out to give your opinion. A country that you are not guaranteed of job after five years of graduation is primary student loan. I want to believe it at your age. <laughs> yeah, at your age, God be rolling on the floor. Many say, share you be money. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, that is right. But BAT also promised to turn all the Yahoo, Yahoo boys to Yahoo Plus. Hmm. This is also BAT speaking after concluding that all Edo Edo uh, Yahoo Yahoo. I beg me to leave me. I use God name. Beg me. Student loan promise by student loan promise made by BAT is a scam of the highest order. Nigerians beware of BAT and APC. I pray affliction will not arise the second time. Or. Well, like I said, it's not going to. There is no what you will tell me, sir, that will make me believe you. It is not going to work inside this country. Call it work, sir. It is not a matter of uh, nobody like Call it work. It can't work. I do tell you, it cannot fit work. Cannot be saying uh, it cannot fit. Well, that was how we deceived Nigerians in 2015. You should react well before coming out. Even if FK is promoter knows that this is not true. Huh? I now understand clearly that Asu President is anti-APC. And that is why he played policies with student lives just to blackmail the APC problem. You know they, you know they see you so. I did tell you with this statement. Are you sure you are okay? Huh. Anyone critical of government policy is always seen as anti- I did tell you because he favor you. Because it favors you. You see, what I like is to see the teachers and the lecturers that the least people, that the least paid people in this in this country. Their work is something that is physical. As in, how do I even say it? You cannot quantify their work and pay them the money for it. It is something that you cannot, you cannot, how, how, how do I put it? You cannot quantify it. And also, I became a president candidate for this February election. I don't understand because this statement ought to have come from a party's presidential candidate and not as a president. Okay, that means you didn't read the news well. I got to tell them with his fake promises, we are tired of all this, once beaten twice. Exactly. Nigerians are no longer in the era of tell me what you go do, just sing me rhymes, you understand? They're in the era of you have to even show us. You have to show us. I'm telling you. Okay, so Nigerians, the ball is in our court. We decide to kick it to where we want to. All right. So he should be held responsible since he's the president. Uh, is that a matter of if Trump was the president when they make this and it was not fulfilled? The thing is, he was the one that came out and he voted as in brought this person. Just like, like I've said before. The carry person go sign for that guarantor. You don't know the kind of person with the person be. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.